This position utilizes Zugzwang in a very interesting way. Right now, Black has the idea of playing Rook E6 back to G6, and there's not really an easy way to make progress for White unless they find a specific idea. The idea here is G5, where after G5, now Rook to E6, we have the beautiful Queen to F6, preventing the Rook from moving back. After queen to f6, if the rook were to move away, we can just play g6, trade off these two pawns, and this is a winning endgame. Of course, we now have to ask ourselves, what if the rook takes the queen? But this is actually completely winning, as after g takes on f6, king to h7, king to d7, if king g6 immediately, we have king e7 with the famous Zugzwang position, and instead of king h6, we do not play king e7, as now we would lose the game after king g6, instead here, we play king to e8, attacking the f7 pawn, they have to defend, and then we play king to e7, which is now a Zugzwang for black, and we win the game.